clubs hit everything all the same. Everybody uses the same type of targets. Everything's the same. So why should anybody choose yours? This week, we're going to show you something you can add to your course that will set you apart from the crowd. I'm Gregory Richards, and this is 3D Archery. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to 3D Archery. All right, you know, everybody has a shoot. Everybody has 3D. Everybody tells you their course is the best. Everybody says they have something different, but what? Well, we have um, uphill shots. We have downhill shots. We have shots through the trees. Ours is a hunter course, right? You want to draw people. You got to be unique. You got to give them something memorable. And something to talk about because they talk about it to other people it's going to bring more people into your club so this week what we're going to cover is something made by Scott Chevronet Chevronet I can never say his last name sorry Scott from Thai Yogi and I'm telling you it's awesome a lot of people do it all different ways but it's something you can do and that's the horse where they sit on a horse and they shoot now Scott took it up a notch put his own little twist on it he made it a rocking horse Right? What I did is I went out and got one of our old saddles and put it on there to add even more to it. So, before we babble too much and tell you about it, let's go over the materials needed. There you have it, everybody. That's the horse they use here at Tai Yogi. Um, it's Scott's ideal. He came up with it. You know, there's many ways to do it, but this is pretty much just a variation of it. Uh, what he let, wanted to do was make it a rocking horse. It's pretty cool. So. If you have one person that can take the reins and they can make you do that. All right, so you got to shoot while rocking, just adding to the complexity of it. If you don't, well, then you can just flip this over like that. Now, I did provide the saddle. That's my um, from my wife's, one of her extra ones. I bought it from her, donated it to the club just to add a little bit of realism. You don't have to have a saddle, all right? So what are you going to need to build this? Well, you're going to need some 2 by 4s and a um, two by six you can just build your supports you're gonna need a, a drum or something for him to sit on now you can build it by hand like making a like a wooden horse with the two sides and the beam don't have to have the saddle you don't even need the horse's head but it's a neat addition he took a cloth mop for the mane and the tail you know what it's a lot of fun you can see down here <coughs> he has these these are feet supports so when you come, you just stand on it like that and sit on it. Personally, oh, a little loose there. Stirrups a little low for me, but I prefer stirrups. Because then you can kick your feet out just like you do when you really ride a horse. Toes in on your toes, heels down, and that's how you shoot. You know, when you do this, you can shoot forwards, make them shoot to the side, or the classic Parthian shot. And you'll see, you know, a lot of people that, if you don't ride a horse, you got to learn how to use stirrups. Because doing a Parthian shot on this is very different than doing it on my stirrups. All right. Which I can barely get my feet in. It's too short. There we go. All right. So, the horse. Fantastic addition. I have to say, uh, i never been on a horse that did that. Trotting's like this. Galloping is more like that. Yeah, that's more like a gallop. When you gallop, you roll your hips. I tried, I can. I lose about half inch of spine every time. All right, but there you go, boys and girls. The rocking horse. Thanks, Scott, for making this another great addition to any archery event. All right, let's take it back to the studio and wrap this all up. everybody there you have it it's pretty simple telling you a lot of fun 
People love it. I watch people doing all crazy stuff with it. You know, you can shoot it straight ahead. You can shoot it to the left, shoot it to the right. You can do the Parthian shot from behind. You can sit on it and have somebody rock it while you, or you can just sit on it. So many variations and so much fun you can have with it. All right, something to add to your course to make you stand out from the crowd. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time with an all-new episode, 3D Archery. Thank you.